Hey everyone, Erica back here again. Today we're going to be talking about Pinterest tags. We're going to be talking about Pinterest SEO tips and the best strategies that you can use for your business. It's going to be one awesome tutorial and you guys want to watch it to the end. This is also a blog post that I'm going to leave a link in the description. You can go and read it. I have checklists on here that you can save to your computer. You can refer to them whenever you want to create your pins. We're talking about Pinterest images, Pinterest friendly images, and Pinterest SEO. That is uh, not something you're going to find in other YouTube videos about Pinterest. So this is a very exciting post that I've been putting together for you guys. Let's get started. The first one we're going to talk about are high quality images you always want to use high quality images on pinterest now not just high quality images you want to use images with dominant colors colors like red oranges deep pink they work so well on pinterest and they tend to get repinned a lot now one little tip is that you want your images to have a slightly grayish background so that the front color is going to be brought out a lot so like you see this image it has a lot of beautiful colors on there and this image is getting repinned like crazy there is another one on here on the blog post it consists of oranges pinks yellows and bright colors that people love so much to see and repin on Pinterest. They work well. So next we're going to be talking about adding text to your images. Now yeah, it's, it's obvious you need to add text to your images, but one thing you don't know is that you need to add text at the top of your images. Now for some exceptions, if you want to get uh, clicks back to your offers or your blog posts, you can add a big block of text in the middle and hide the image itself so that people can click on it. It's sort of like a clickbait image that generates clicks back to your site. Yeah, but usually this sort of an image, yeah, this is a recipe image and usually you have the recipe at the bottom of the image now this is not going to get a lot of clicks back to the website It's going to get repinned but it's not going to get a lot of clicks unless the whole recipe is not in the description but usually what you want to do is you want to add a little text at the top of your images showing or telling people what that particular image is about because most people don't go down here to read the descriptions Next, we want to talk about tall pins. Now, tall pins are very popular on Pinterest. Pinterest actually tells you that you need to use certain dimensions for your pins to go viral on Pinterest. So let's say you found a pin that uh, it's tall and you like the, dim the dimensions of that particular pin and you want to create a similar pin. You can find the specific dimension by going ahead and right clicking on the image itself and just click on inspect. Let me do that up here. Just selecting inspect. You just want to wait a few seconds until this blue box opens up. You want to look for this little tag that says JPG and this box with the image itself is going to open up and underneath it, you would find the, the specific pixels and dimension for that image. This is how you can find, you can go ahead and just click the X tab and you can go out of there. This is how you can find dimensions. But I also tell you which dimensions Pinterest actually wants you to use on the platform. And it's also in the checklist as well. Next, let's go ahead and talk about infographics. You see, infographics are really popular on Pinterest and they tend to go viral really quickly. But that's it, you need to be mindful. As you can see here, these infographics are getting repinned like crazy. This is a simple infograph that has gotten repinned almost 5,000 times. You have some infographics on here 
that has gotten repinned over 250,000 times. That is how popular uh, infographics are. But the problem with this is they do not get clicks. Infographics do not generate clicks, but they do generate backlinks. Backlinks are very important for SEO and also for your site to rank higher in the search engines. Uh, you can use infographics uh, to create backlinks for your blog posts, for your website, for your videos. Whatever your content is, you can create an infographic. And once that goes viral on Pinterest and gets a lot of repinned, your backlinks are going to grow. And that is very important and it's gonna you know rank your site or that particular blog post or whatever that infographic is leading back to whatever link is in there it's gonna generate backlinks for that particular source so I hope you're getting what I'm uh, talking about let's move on to the next section now this covers Pinterest uh, friendly images this is a checklist that you can save to your computer and you can refer back to it whenever you want to repin your images. Now let's move on to search engine optimization. If you do not know what search engine optimization is, it's simply little pieces of information collected by search engines on a particular piece of content that contains uh, or explains what that content is about. You can go ahead and read the full post and it's gonna tell you, explain in layman terms what SEO is and once you can wrap your head around SEO and how it works, it's gonna make life so much easier for you online with creating content and building backlinks and ranking your posts or your blog or whatever. It's gonna make it so much easier. So I do advise that you go ahead and you check out the blog post. And okay, so let's move on to how to SEO optimize your pins. This is where it gets so interesting. So Pinterest SEO, okay, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna have a product that you wanna promote. You wanna go ahead, this is an affiliate network that I'm signed up with, and um, I actually earn high commissions on this platform. Amazon is great, but I think this is better. And this is uh, one of the uh, merchants that I'm uh, was approved to promote their offers on here. And I wanted to promote travel books, travel guides, destination travel guides. The first thing, now I see they have a lot of offers and I wanna promote their offers. I'm gonna go on here, find some cool offers that I think my audience is gonna like. And the next, next thing I wanna do, and you wanna do that also, is go back onto Pinterest now that I see that I have a lot of options on here, I wanna to go to Pinterest and I wanna find long tail keywords. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Pinterest and I'm gonna type in, let's say travel destination, destination. Okay, so as you're typing, Pinterest comes up with a lot of different options and you wanna look for the ones with that are at least four to five words those are long tail keywords and they're easier to rank for on pinterest they're easier for your pins to rank on pinterest now i did this actually last night to be really honest with you guys i created a pin using these specific strategies and i'm going to show you that that pin is ranking in pinterest search so this is really powerful stuff guys so now that I found that travel destinations, I want to go to Ubersuggest because Ubersuggest is a keyword tool. Now, when I came into Ubersuggest and I searched for travel destinations, they had really high searches, but also the competition were, was off the roof. Now, to be able to rank for that particular keyword on Pinterest, it's going to be really hard because a lot of people are targeting that specific keyword as well. But that is not to say you cannot rank it on Pinterest, but it would take a longer time to be, to be able to rank it, even if you're using these specific methods. So you want to find uh, long tail keywords that have low competition rate. And you always want to have two zeros before 
the specific number of your competition and you always want your competition to be low to be below 0 0.10 you always want to be 0, 0.0 something okay anyway I don't want to keep this tutorial long let's move on so now I went ahead I found the products I went to Pinterest and I typed in my keywords but I found that those particular keywords were really hard to rank for now I went in and I just decided to go with destination guides guides okay so you have okay destination G U I D E okay guides okay now there weren't a lot of option for this particular keyword but then I used this particular keyword and I went back I copied that went back into Uber suggest and I found that destination guides have 390 searches and six comp the, the competition is really low and I will be able to rank for that now because this is really low you don't have a lot of uh, competition on Pinterest or on these search engines as well so I went ahead and created this image on Canva now this is all all happened I've tried this a lot of times and I've ranked a lot of pins on Pinterest but this I did last night let me just increase that for you guys I went ahead and grabbed some books off of that I created this little infograph best destination guides for Africa and then I added some cool uh, text up here trying to get them to click on the image to learn more and I did make a sale I'm gonna show you a proof of that that I made a sale since last night but this pin actually ranked today the past few hours this pin started ranking on Pinterest and it is climbing because I did uh, Pinterest SEO for my pin so let's go find the pin and I'm gonna show you exactly how I ranked the pin so let's go back and we want to type in destination guides because that is the particular keyword I am going for guides now you can choose any pin uh, any keyword but you want them to be long tail I didn't go with long tail with this one but it worked anyway I'm gonna just click that and let's see what comes up now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to try to locate my pin. There are hundreds of results for this particular keyword and I hope that I'm not okay. There it is. As you can see, I have 35 uh, repins, but those 30 of uh, those were group boards that I pinned this particular image to. So I've only had five repins and I made a sale now as you can see this little icon here you see that there are hundreds and hundreds more results for this particular keyword and as you continue to scroll it's a never ending um okay let's go back and grab that pin it's never ending so as you can see because i did the pinterest seo which i'm going to show you in a moment my pin is already ranking over pins that have been on Pinterest for ages my pin is already ranking higher and you see my position where I'm at so let's go ahead and click on the pin and let me show you what I did now before we go on we want to find okay now you have the find long tail keywords you you really want to read this post with minimum of five words and I just showed you that you can rank with less than that but it's always good to go for long tail keywords whatever it is that you're doing if it's blog posts if it's vi youtube videos whatever it is you want to go for long tail keywords and you want to use them exactly as you find them next you want to add them at the beginning of your description which i didn't do with this particular pin but it is still ranking and if i had added it at the beginning it would have been ranking higher by now which i am going to do by the way so it is very important that you add your keywords at the beginning of your description and you need to paint a little picture 
of your description. Let's go back to the pin. So let's scroll down here and let me just show you what I did. Now what I did was find the best destination guides for any location on the planet. Do you have a destination in mind? And then I went ahead and created a hashtag. So I already, I also covered this in the blog post and I talk about hashtags. Pinterest right now allows and they want their users to use hashtags. So this is a clickable link that if you click on that, it's going to get you other results with that particular keyword. And what I did was I created tags. I added a hashtag with my keywords in them and then I created tags. So there is a tool that I found while searching on Google because they have this Pinterest keyword tool, but it looks like it doesn't work anymore. And I was trying to find something new that you guys can go ahead and use. So yeah, I found this blog, this website that offers a free tool if you go ahead and sign up with your email address or something and you can add it as a chrome extension it is free so it's going to have a little icon at the top and once you click on it you can go ahead and type in whatever your keyword is so let's go ahead and put destination guides and you just want to submit so it's going to bring out all of the the relating keywords that people are searching for but as you saw when we search for that particular keyword that there, there was only one result so this pin keyword finder is only giving us destination guides with small letter and capital letter and so on so you can just copy that you just copy that and let's go to we want to edit this pin so that you see this pin is mine because I have my affiliate link in there. And you just want to add that once you add the hashtag at the end of your description, you want to go ahead and just paste that in there. You just click on save and that is it. Next, you want to go ahead and you want to pin that particular pin to as many group boards as you can. And you also, let's, we're going to move to the next step and we're going to talk about building backlinks and for this particular pin to be able to rank it higher. That is what is actually going to rank it higher by building backlinks for this particular pin. So most people don't, don't know this. I already show you how you can get the product, do the keyword research and add your hashtag and add your tags. Let's go to the building uh, keyword uh, backlink section so yeah we've covered the hashtag and now we're gonna do the off pin SEO so off page SEO that's for Google and your website but now I just renamed this to off pin SEO now what we want to do is that you want to comment on the pin you want to use another Pinterest account which you can create as many as you wish build them up with a few pins get a few followers and just leave those as accounts that you can use to comment on your money pin that is one trick that most people don't tell you about and all of those huge accounts that are uh, getting repins like crazy and ranking their pins this is what they're doing you need to trust me i know what i'm talking about they comment use accounts that are theirs and they comment on their pins you can go ahead and just create your accounts and next you want to as once you save them to the group boards you want to create comments for your pins and you also want to ping there are some free ping services websites that you can use and i list them on here these are what i use for my blog posts my youtube videos Pinterest pins and so on. I use them to ping these pins. They are going to help them get ranked in search engine and they're going to create backlinks for that particular pin. The next way of getting backlinks to your pin is that for your money pin, you want to create at least 10 backlinks for that particular pin. How are you going to do that? Because you want to rank high in the Pinterest search. For that particular keyword you want to create backlinks with in Pinterest you want to find high authority Pinterest profiles 
that you can use to go ahead and leave a comment with the link of that particular pin. So let me go back and just show you an example. We're going to use Ojoy for this particular example. So let's go back to the pin. What you want to do is you want to go ahead at the top in your browser, you just want to copy the link of that particular uh, pin. Now we want to go ahead and we want to search for uh, Ojoy. I think that's okay because she has millions of followers. Oh, Joy. Joy Cho. Okay, there she is. She has millions of followers. And this Pinterest account is a really very old. She was one of the first uh, women to start using Pinterest. So her, her account is a, has a very high page rank. And if you leave your links on here, they are going to get high uh, quality backlinks. You, you just want to go to her pins and you want to find a pin that is relevant to whatever it is your pin is about. So that's why I say you have to understand SEO because it's really important. So you want to find pins that are related to traveling. Just scroll until you can find any pin that has water or, okay, anything. Let me just... Scroll down. I don't want to keep this long, but okay. So this has food or something in that. Uh, no, it's talking about, okay, this has water in it. So let's go and click on that. Now you want to go ahead and click on the comment section and just add something. Lovely pin. Love your profile. And then you want to add your link and just click on add and there it is I also give you 10 accounts that you can use these are very high they have their very high page ranks you can use these accounts to create backlinks for your pin and I also leave a checklist in here as well so this, I tell you how you can do this step by step. I'm just showing it to you in the video. You need to go to the blog post and you need to read it step by step to understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, and this is how you can do your Pinterest SEO and you can create uh, friendly images. You go ahead and you try that. And like I said, I was going to show you that I made a sale with this and I just started this particular uh, uh, promoting this last night. And I'm, okay, there it is. So you see I have misguided a win. No, let's go to the Great Britain pound. Yeah, this is one, quantity one. And with the uh, United States account, those are two different. I'm going to leave a link for this uh, affiliate network, and but you need to pay a $5 fee to be able to, uh, once you have, you need to have a blog and you need to pay $5 to get accepted. But they have really high commissions on here. You're not going to find that on Amazon. So let's go to Lonely Planet where it is. Yeah, I want to go to the yeah, Lonely Planet. There. No, 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 no. Let me go to that. Just a second. I want to go to this one. Just to show you that, yeah, the quantity. And the book cost uh, 269 euros. And yeah, there it is. As you can see, one. And this was just last night. I got 35. Okay, I repinned those 30 repins on group boards, but then I got five uh, repins and I got 125 clicks. And I sold one book. And now the pin has started to rank. People are going to see it more. Millions of people are going to see it, and you don't know if they're going to click on it and they're going to buy. This is how powerful this is. So, yeah, let me just go back to the dashboard and show you a little bit about this affiliate network if you would like to join you can use my link i'm going to leave it in the description and i'm going to appreciate it so much so as you can see here they have programs like 30 dollars per sign up you just want someone to sign and put their email address in here and you get 30 dollars you get paid 30 dollars these are cost per lead cost per action and cost per lead this is also 40 45 dollars you get paid uh, per per lead or per action and you can do this so easily with Pinterest you create images you rank them 
And just imagine if you create those images and you know how to do your Pinterest SEO and then you rank them high up in Pinterest and you are getting $45 per sign up. Just imagine how powerful this is. And you can also refer this network and you get paid. So yeah, you just go ahead when you get on here. I also have a tutorial, a video on how you can go ahead and use the platform. But if you do want to sign up, I appreciate it so much. And I'm going to leave a link. But yeah, that is how you do it. That is how you do it. And you can go ahead and just read the whole post. And just one last thing, because this video has gone overboard. Yeah, and it is about the infographs. One thing you want to do to be able to get people to click your, your infographs is that you give them something to bite on. And then when you get to where it starts to get interesting, you tell them to click the image. That way, your infographics are going to get go viral. They're going to create backlinks for you, and they are also going to create clicks. They're going to generate clicks back to your website, your blog, or whatever your offer is, and so on. Use these tips. They are going to work. I promise you. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome, as always. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'm going to get back to you as soon as I can. So good night, everyone. Have an awesome week.